I'm actually on vacation, uh, hence the different outlook. But um, I happened to see some videos and some wrong marketing. So I wanted to um, give some clarity onto it. What's the difference between good marketing and bad marketing? Good, for example, when people compared Dubai Creek Harbor to Downtown 2.0, there was a logical assumption attached to it. For example, Emar One is a very trusted brand. Emar had launched one of their first master plans were Dubai Marina. In Dubai Marina, around 80% of the buildings were developed by private developers. And then Emar understood that, okay, you know what, there's something wrong about this um, product. We need to work on it. And then they created downtown. So today, even today, if you see downtown Dubai, it it just stands apart, right? It's it's they've created this high-end community with downtown. Now with Dubai Creek Harbor, they're trying to go a few steps further, so you can understand that trajectory. And hence, people are like, okay, that has potential to become downtown 2.0. It's bigger, it's better. The location's great. So that's an example of okay. Uh, a decent a good assumption and based on assumption you can invest so that you make maximum profits but when i see people talk about south of dubai it's just funny when, when people compare imar south dubai south the airports and they compare with the palm jebel ali because what they do is they take a map okay they take that entire section of the south of dubai they'd be like this is the future it's right next to Abu Dhabi. You need to invest right here. It's very wrong assumption. And this is bad for investors, right? So when, when I understand marketing involves a certain amount of manipulation, especially because right now there are so many foreign investors coming to Dubai. When you have to sell a product like, see right now, <laughs> clearly, the south of Dubai is not as trending as Dubai Hills, Dubai Islands or, or, or Palm Jebel Ali. So people have to use stronger marketing techniques in order to sell it. But it is a strong product in itself. But you don't have to compare it with products like Palm Jebel Ali because that's an irregular comparison. I'm, I'm asking people to be very careful about assumptions. If you have the assumptions itself wrong, you probably are going to make a wrong investment. A few other points that I've mentioned, I've noted, I was noting down these points, you know, I was listening to all these, a few videos. So good, coastline. Now, um, coastline is a definite go, I've always mentioned. So again, it's a comparable, right? Whether it's Palm Jebel Ali, Palm Jebel Ali, these are phenomenal high-end investments, but if you compare it with, let's say, La Mer, Dubai Islands, Pearl Jumeirah, uh, it's a fair comparison. Coastline is always a safe product to invest in. Metro lines, again, yes, um, because the traffic is increasing at an alarming rate. The population itself is increasing. I think from 3.8 million, we're heading towards the 5.6, 5.7 million mark. So yes, investing at the right price in such locations is definitely good. If someone speaks about these a coastline or a metro, it's something that you should look into. But then things that you should be uh, careful about. South of Dubai, when someone speaks too much about South of Dubai, you should be like, mm. And then if uh, water body, apartments with private pools. Now it looks really fancy or pictures, but just really need to understand the product. What sort of pool are they building? Who's building the pool? Understand the water body being sold to you. Product, you, know, you should be very careful. Lagoon, these private beaches, the funny private beaches, not the man-made ones, okay? The man-made private beaches. Because I've seen some buildings being sold saying private beach, right? And two products that made these canals and water bodies very popular. One was District 1, it came up with that first Crystal Lagoon and that became really popular. And then Dama came up with this Malibu Beach. But then there are some buildings being sold in the name of a private beach, but we're talking about like a, a 120 meter length and so it is basically a modified pool. It's not a private beach. A beach, we're looking at at least a 1.2 kilometer stretch, white sand. Now, these 120 meter products also have white sand. They import the white sand. They make it look as good as a beach, but it's not a private beach. I'm a workaholic. I'm, I'm stuck with this. So me and Yash were discussing. We were like, hey, you know what? Can we make a report of all the areas in Dubai so that investors understand okay these are the zones I'll be sharing this report as well we divided Dubai into six zones so zone one we're looking at the coast so it covers Palm Jumeirah, Palm Jebel Ali, Jumeirah Bay Island, La Mer, Dubai Islands, Billionaire's Row. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. It's, it's where the ultra HNIs live. They want to live there and that's not going to change. 
there's no shift happening downtown is going to remain downtown palm jumeirah is going to remain palm jumeirah products like palm jubilee yes it's it's fantastic as an investment a long term investment in the words of warren buffet like uh, you should be willing to wait for at least 10 years slightly less than that, between 5 and 10 years you'll have a very robust return on equity but this is prime real estate and that's not going to change is it close to abu dhabi no it's not about abu dhabi it's about middle east as a whole saudi is emerging extremely powerful i was just in talks with people behind neom phenomenal the work they're doing out there is unbelievable the sort of tech they're developing we're trying to bring that tech to dubai so there'll be few podcasts in the future talking with the sort of tech the sort of automation so middle east as a whole is definitely on the rise uh, for several reasons safety uh, tax benefits dubai yes it's definitely one of the best cities in the world to live in safest cities in the world the plan of the government is to develop something like puerto rico like monaco where the ultra hnage of the world can come best of education best of healthcare safety a luxury lifestyle and we have methods for tax optimization so that's the idea of uh, zone 1 zone 2 we're going to cover um, emirates living jumeirah islands jumeirah park and al furjan of these i've made several videos on uh, the islands jumeirah park it's these come right behind jlt so if you look at sheikh zaid road um you have the bay marina and in front of the bay marina you have your zone 1 right behind the bay marina you have your jlt behind jlt is where you have this emirates hills now uh, emirates hills is not just the beverly hills of the by the most expensive villas it's a fantastic zone but apart from that you have meadows springs the lakes again a uh, beautiful community these communities were unfazed by the cycles of real estate for example during covid these places the prices wouldn't budge they wouldn't budge because imar are masters in developing ecosystems in developing communities so you know you got the schools right there the hospitals right there so the the families they're so comfortable uh, with their teachers their doctors their neighbors their walking tracks their golf clubs everything is right there because of minimal supply into the market the market is extremely strong again 80% end users right now furjan is a location i've explained a lot to people i'm like it's one of those hidden gems right if you're looking to invest somewhere around a million to 2 million dirhams i think furjan is a great location because it's close to sheikh zaid road it's close to the bay marina it's close to um palm jabal ali and it's close to the new airport i would prefer being at a 30 minute to 45 minute to the airport i don't think anybody has a problem in driving a bit of a distance from the airport you don't exactly have to live right next to it talking about um again the major crowd the 70% i'm sure there'll be few people like people who travel all the time maybe they want to live right next to the airport i've seen some people saying i want to live right next to the school i want to walk to the school so there's a larger population leaning towards that requirement i've had some people i still remember uh people move from canada they were like they want to live next to tim hortons but you cannot base your assumptions based on a minority right especially for an investor it should be based on a majority a majority um don't mind driving 30 to 45 minutes from the airport your focus should be on the product the price the floor plan developer in dubai the, the brand really matters now there are a few examples where the not so famous or the not so prominent did a fantastic job ellington it grew from a product in jvc to one of the top developers al barari i have no idea why they did not they did not do more projects till date i think al barari is one of the best villas in dubai expo city again is not as famous as let's say imar damak but i think they did a phenomenal job both in terms of product pricing payment plan product quality phenomenal job done dubai south and dubai south got very popular because of the price and the floor plans it was really big layouts and you can see the, the price has already jumped So you need to be very careful in terms of what product you're jumping into. Get your facts straight. Now, uh, so we understood zone one. We understood zone two. Third one, we're jumping into zone three. Now, zone three, we are looking at products like Dubai Hills District One, Shoba Heartland One, Shoba Heartland Two, Nadal Shiba Gardens. 
Watercrest Senses Sanctuary Albarari. This is basically that uh, E311, the Al Khail Road. The Dubai Hills, we don't have to explain. I think, I think now, right by now, the whole world has pretty much heard about the Dubai Hills. It's amongst investors, they've definitely heard about Dubai Hills because the sort of people have made triple the m amount they've invested, especially the people who invest in the start. Somebody tells me Dubai Hills is the center of Dubai, I, I would agree to him, can be considered like bang in the center of Dubai. The, the location is unbelievable, the product is fantastic. If, if you're a new investor to Dubai, you know, Dubai Hills is one of those uh, locations that I suggest to them. A lot of development is happening in the Mohammed bin Rashid city. It starts with uh, Shoba Heartland. Uh, you've got your district one village and behind there these smaller communities being developed by so that's like watercrest the other day i saw bentley homes but two of the prominent projects over there are the nadal shiba gardens and uh, opal gardens again people who had invested in these products initially have already made profit so that section zone three maybe probably you've missed the boat if you get a good investment opportunity this is a fantastic area it's a it's a place where see people made money the prices have reached a certain point and making money now is a bit challenging unless the product is really exciting as you know in zone one i've started a completely different model uh, the whole refurbishment model i've started from zone one i'm targeting the top cream of the society that's why i'm targeting palm jumeirah and emirates hills because people are willing to spend money for those locations so we understood we have an idea now of zone three zone four we're looking at arabian ranches two three damak lagoons damak hills golf estates mudon acres riverside oasis shoba reserve the villa villanova haven tilal el gaf serena and athlon this we're looking at sort of between E311 and E611. So E611 is your Emirates Road, right? So Villanova, Raven Ranch is three. No, no, I'm not saying these are the best floor plans. The floor plans are not very exciting. But the price which these initially were selling at, they were selling at somewhere around 1.45 to 1.65 million for a three bed townhouse. And so right now I'm living in Villanova on the park product has gone up to like a 2.5 2.6 and has potential to go up to 3 million but once it goes to 3 million is that a good investment now that's the million dollar question right so now that entire street is being developed right on the other side uh, products like the shoba reserve now shoba reserve again for the villas are starting at 8 million dirhams so, so the, these products help to increase value of these smaller products as well but again the million dollar question is that if I buy now, will I make profit? I'm not going to tell you whether you make profit or not. What I'm going to tell you is to understand all of these zones, understand the numbers, understand the product, understand the developer. And then I need to understand your objective. And then based on your objective, we make a sensible decision. Now, the next zone five is very exciting. All right. You have your Emar South, Expo City, South Bay, Pulse. And I'm going to just go straight down to zone six. Now, zone six. You have your Valley, Damak Hills 2, Shoba, Elwood, Heights, Sherry Woods, Nashama Town Square, Reem. So now Zone 5 and Zone 6 is yes, the, the potential where you can make money. But do you see, I cannot say that Imar South is the center of the new Dubai. I, I cannot say that. I cannot compare Imar South and Palm Jebel Ali. We raised 50 million dirhams in three days. Three days, if you see my podcast with Sunny, we were talking about how to let's go together, enter these products. So that's the power of just speaking the truth, understanding the products. Investors are ready to invest, they're ready to park their funds. So this is my probably my advice to consultants that, hey, you not know, really understand the product, you know, because the power of real estate is not in the money, it's in the network, the kind of people that you meet. These people are trusting you, they're ready to park their funds. Yeah, it is unbelievable. If you just speak on the right products, 50 million in three days, it was, we were shocked. And then we were like, okay, you know what? We need to develop a product like steak. Now the difference between steak and what I'm trying to develop is, I think you have a thousand shares, right? For one product, for one apartment. And the apartment, uh, few have good prices, fewer not. But see, for me, I just want to enter 
minimum two, maximum five. And the biggest plus is that, you know, I will I will be a shareholder. I'll be financially vested into these projects. You know, so I think that's the biggest kick I can give to investors, right? Like, hey, listen, we're in this together. So I'll be picking a product only that make 100% sense to me. And that's the best I can offer you. Coming back to zone six, I think there's a lot of potential in zone six. Uh, there are products like I was explaining this Damac. No, Damac is coming up with these new communities. So I've added that to the report as well. So there are some new communities, future communities that are coming up. So that's the Grand Polo Club by Emar, Sun City by Damac. This is another new community coming up by Miras Acres. Now Acres is a phenomenal product. Again, extremely different. So these are where you understand the developer, understand the flow plan. You identify the opportunity. Uh, again, I, I'm the third time saying Damac. Uh, the Violet product seemed very interesting to me because it was a four-bed townhouse selling around two million dirhams. It doesn't exist in the market. Acres, again, an ultra luxury community. There are in total about 1,200 villas. Um, where at the same time Oasis has around 7,000 villas, right? But Imar is a stronger brand. Where would you bet your money? There's a product called Farm Gardens by, by Valley. Again, a beautiful product. And that, if you see the plot size, it's comparable to these, but the price is way lesser. So where do you put your money, right? To answer all these questions, um, I'm going to sell a bit of myself now. <laughs> You have to schedule a call. It may not just be with me. My team, again, it's, it's the top, top consultants of the market, but it'll predominantly be me. Let's have a chat. Let's understand your requirements. And based on which, you know, we make a report like this. Uh, we customize a report for you. First, let me educate you. And then I'm going to tell you these are your options. And if you resonate with a certain product, you should proceed with it. Because when you invest in a property, you should be happy about it. You know, you should be like, yes, I made a great investment. So very soon, I've got a beautiful, beautiful brother of mine from uh, Mexico. He's coming down. So we're going to talk a lot about decentralized finances, real estate. We're going to be traveling a lot uh, to UK, to Europe, to Mexico, to Australia. We're going to host seminars. We're going to just, this is the world, this is the, this is the beauty of Dubai, right? It's, uh, we're genuinely going to try and make it like a global village, you know, and, and, and just educate people. And once you're educated, you completely understand the um, sort of benefits that you can receive from an interesting investment. It should excite you, you should be happy about it and, and then proceed. So um, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I'm sorry about the informal dressing. I'm on vacation. I'm back to Dubai on the 8th and I'll be take, officially taking all the calls. I'm still taking calls, but uh, I think I've slowed down a bit, a uh, bit of family time. I think that's important as well to create that balance that sort of refuels me to give you guys more energy. But uh, thank you so much for the love and support. A lot of exciting news uh, coming forward. Thank you for watching. Mama Zahid.